So I noticed that a lot of people have a very, very serious misunderstanding about something, okay? Everybody obviously wants to enrich themselves. That's an obvious thing. That's a no-brainer, right? <laughs> very, very logical, simple, common sense thing. But this is what the problem is. People think they can enrich themselves <laughs> by themselves. See, this is the key. This is this is the big misunderstanding that's going on. Okay, and it's really not possible. Unless you are part of a very, very small percentage of people. Okay. So like all right, so let's talk about that small percentage of people. Okay. Number one, you inherited tremendous wealth from a family member. Yeah. You got it. Very simple. Okay. Another possibility. You hit the lotto. <laughs> okay. Sure. You got it. Okay. A third possibility is that now this is part of the conversation which I'm going to have. You started a very successful business. Yes. You got it. Okay. But you see, a lot of people don't fall into those categories. And the categories that they fall in most of the time is that they just work a regular job. They work a job, average American makes about 50000 a year. After you pay taxes, 30%, you're left with about 35000 a year. This is like the majority of people, right, that are middle class average, okay? So after you pay taxes, you're left with 35000 You got You got to pay a mortgage, right? You got you got to pay possibly, if you don't have a house, rent, house, insurance, for not only just your car, health insurance, life, life insurance, you got you know, food expenses, entertainment expenses, you know, God forbid, you want to save some kind of money, right? <laughs> I mean, we could sit down all day, gas, entertainment, tolls. I mean, there's so many things that we spend every day, okay? So the question is, vacations, entertainment, restaurants, food, supermarket, you know, then you got to pay all your other stuff besides taxes. You got your social security, you got your disability, you got, you know, in some cases, people actually want to save a little money. They got a 401k. So the question really is, how much are you saving, let's just say, a year after all of that? Okay. The majority of Americans right now are struggling big time. Struggling big time. And it, it save, saving, they're saving nothing. You know, they're constantly taking out loans, constantly trying to just get by the next week. Okay, that, That's just what I'm reading. That that's what's happening, okay? But let's let's be smart and say somehow someone's able to save about ten thousand dollars a year. Okay, Let, let's just go with that analogy. Now again, we're using this on the analogy of the average American making fifty thousand a year. Okay, so let's say after mortgage, gas, cars, expenses, everything, bills, food, uh, insurance, everything, they're left with ten thousand dollars a year, which is probably not going to be the case. But we're trying to be conservative. Let's go with that number. So in a 10-year period, okay, that person will save. Again, forget about if they're investing. Let's just say it's just cash. It's just for the argument because it, it gets too complicated. There are some things that could do well in terms of investments. There are some things that could lose money with investments. Okay, so let's just say go with the flat 10000 a year. 10 years, they got hundred grand, right? 20 years, they got two hundred grand. 30 years, they got three hundred grand. 40 years, they got four hundred grand. Now, here's the thing. Is that rich? Is that successful? No. Okay. <laughs> Not even epic close. Okay. So the thing I'm trying to make people understand is that I get the concept that people want to enrich themselves. But the only question is, can they? That's the question. Can they do it realistically? And I think this is something that is really messing with a lot of people's heads. Everybody wants to enrich themselves. Everybody wants to do it. The question is, can they? Now, that's why I hate to be this very mean person, but I have to tell you the facts, okay? In a world of like seven, eight billion people, there's only a couple thousand billionaires. There's really not that many billionaires, okay? So now, let's go back to the concept of everybody wants to enrich themselves, right? 
Well, then how come everybody's not a billionaire? <laughs> she want to understand the logic. Everybody wants to enrich themselves, right? Yet, out of a world of seven or eight billion people, there's really not that many billionaires. That's why they call it the 1%. That's why they call it the 1%. 99% of people are not really super rich, successful. A lot of them are just average or even below average. And then there's the 1% that are super rich, okay? So now the question you have to ask yourself is what's going on? Everybody wants to enrich themselves, right? How come everybody's not rich? Okay, so this is something I'm going to be talking about on my live stream in about five minutes. Let's discuss it. And if you have... An opinion, I would like to hear it. Okay, I would love to hear it. V for victory. Video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. Not political advice. I'm not a politician. Not yet. But I am the greatest entertainer who has ever lived on planet Earth and the entire universe. The one, the only, a father in the house, baby. Wow!